What's one thing we all want more of from our phones, but never really get enough? Yep, better battery life. The iPhone 17 series is coming in September 2025, and while the headlines focus on design and camera changes, there's a lot happening inside the phone, especially when it comes to how long the battery lasts and how it charges. So what can we expect this year? Let's start with the basics. Apple will release four models again, the iPhone 17, a new iPhone 17 Air, the iPhone 17 Pro, and the top-end iPhone 17 Pro Max. The iPhone 17 Air will replace the older Plus version. Now, don't expect Apple to suddenly add giant batteries like you see in Android phones from brands like Xiaomi or OnePlus. No 6,000 mAh monsters here, but Apple is still making useful changes. First, all iPhone 17 models will use what's called stacked battery technology. It was introduced earlier, and it's back again. These stacked batteries are more compact and last longer. They also generate less heat, which is better for your phone's long-term health. Second, Apple is bringing a new kind of glue to make battery replacements easier. It's called electric adhesive. Basically, it lets repair centers remove the battery using a small electric charge instead of having to pry it out by force. So, fixing your phone just got a bit simpler. Will the iPhone 17 have better battery life? Most likely, yes, especially in the Pro models. That's mainly because of the chip. The standard iPhone 17 and 17 Air will run on Apple's A19 chip, while the Pro and Pro Max will use the A19 Pro. These chips might be built using either a 3 nanometer or possibly even 2 nanometer process. That smaller size means better energy use, so your phone does more while using less battery. Also, there are more improvements helping in the background. Apple's new 5G modem is expected to use less power than before. The OLED screens will be more efficient too, thanks to new display tech called M14 panels. Now let's talk charging. Don't expect super fast numbers like 120 watt or 200 watt charging from Apple. That's just not their style. Instead, the iPhone 17 models will likely stick with the current speeds. That means about 27 to 30 watt wired charging, depending on the model. In real world terms, that means it could take about one hour and 30 minutes to go from zero to 100%, just like the iPhone 16 wireless charging. Yes, it's here as usual, with speeds up to 15 watt using Apple's MagSafe. No surprise there. But here's what's new. Apple might finally add reverse wireless charging. This lets you charge other gadgets, like your AirPods or Apple Watch, just by placing them on the back of your iPhone. It's not super fast, though. Right now, it's expected to be 7.5 watt, and it may only be available on the iPhone 17 Pro and Pro Max. Is Apple copying the Pixel again? That's what a lot of people started asking when renders of the iPhone 17 Pro and iPhone 17 Pro Max showed up online. The big change? A horizontal camera bar on the back, something that looks pretty similar to what Google has been doing with its Pixel phones for years. Now to be fair, the renders of the iPhone 17 base model and the thinner iPhone 17 Air don't look anything like the Pixel, but those Pro models? You do start to see where the comparisons come from, especially if you squint a bit. And Google clearly noticed the talk too, because they've responded and they did it in the most Google way possible, through a new ad in their Dr. Best Phones Forever series. If you haven't seen these ads before, they're done in a claymation-like style, and imagine the Pixel and iPhone as best friends. The Pixel usually plays the smart, modern one, while the iPhone is a little behind on features, it's playful, but also full of subtle jabs. In the latest episode, called Responding to the Rumors, the two phones are co-hosting a podcast. The Kakwe Mi. Big topic of discussion? The leaked iPhone 17 redesign and how it's starting to look a bit like the Pixel. A headline appears during the podcast that says, iPhone 17 leaks look a lot like Google Pixel. The iPhone character responds by saying, Can you imagine me doing the same thing you did first, years later? That moment pretty much sums up the whole joke. The ad goes on to list some of the other times Apple introduced features that Pixel users had already been using for years. First, there's Night Sight, which Google launched in 2018. Apple followed with its Night Mode in 2019. Both are used for taking better photos in very dark conditions without using flash. Then, iPhone mentions Magic Eraser, 
the photo editing feature Google introduced in 2021. Apple came out with CleanUp last year, which does something very similar, removing unwanted objects from your photos. And of course, they talk about widgets. Pixel phones had them way back in 2016. Apple didn't bring them to iPhones until years later with iOS 14. Even though Google is clearly poking fun, the ad keeps things friendly and light. It's all done in good humor, but the message is clear. Apple may have more sales, but Google likes to think it's the one leading the way when it comes to innovation. Now, when it comes to how similar the iPhone 17 Pro's rumored camera bar is to the Pixels, it's still up for debate. The renders show a wide, horizontal layout, but it doesn't exactly match the smooth, polished look of the Pixel 9 camera bar. It's more bulky, more squared off, so maybe it's a stretch to call it a copy. But the timing of the ad? Pretty. Perfect. Meanwhile, Pixel fans are also looking ahead to Google I.O., happening from May 20 to May 21. We're expecting to get a first look at the Pixel 10 series during the event. Are you expecting better battery life from Samsung's next foldable phones? Well, you might want to keep those expectations in check. A new certification has just confirmed the battery sizes of the upcoming Galaxy Z Flip 7 and Galaxy Z Fold 7, and let's just say it's great news for Flip users, but kind of a letdown for Fold fans. Let's break it down. Thanks to a new listing from UL Demco, which is a trusted certification source, we now have official confirmation of the battery. Capacities inside these foldable phones. These aren't leaks anymore. This is pretty much locked in. Starting with the Galaxy Z Flip 7, Samsung seems to be giving this one a nice boost. The new Flip will pack two batteries, one rated at 1,189 mAh and another at 2,985 mAh. That gives it a total minimum capacity of 4,174 mAh and it will likely be marketed as a 4,300 mAh battery. That's a 300 mAh increase over last year's Flip 6, which had a 4,000 mAh battery. So for Flip lovers, this could mean longer screen on time, less charging anxiety, and possibly better overall power efficiency, especially with a new processor likely coming on board. Now for the not-so-great news. The Galaxy Z Fold 7, Samsung's, more powerful and expensive foldable, is not getting a battery upgrade this year. The same certification reveals two battery modules rated at 2,026 mAh and 2,146 mAh. That totals 4,272 mAh, just like last year's Fold 6. Expect Samsung to market it again as a 4,400 mAh battery. So yes, no change at all. This might be a bit disappointing, especially since the Fold 7 is rumored to come with larger displays and possibly a new 200 megapixel main camera. With a bigger screen and more powerful camera hardware, you'd think battery life would need to be better, but Samsung has kept it the same. Now, could efficiency gains from a newer processor or better display tech help balance it out? Maybe, but on paper, the Fold 7 is starting to look like a phone that's more about design tweaks than big internal upgrades. To make matters worse, earlier leaks also suggested that charging speeds are staying the same. That means 25 watt wired, charging and 15 watt wireless charging, just like before. So if you were hoping for faster charging, that's not happening either. Still, both phones have now entered mass production, and Samsung is expected to unveil them at an unpacked event in early July. So we're not far away from seeing them in action. <laughs>